Bain. What a game. Set. Far foot in, five metres out, 15 plays 14. Ball is out. Ball is out, Falatau under all sorts of pressure from Thacker, who's in the back row now. Brian Burns at hooker, Thacker's in the back row, more than capable. Could see a head down. Simpson joins the ruck, big unit that he is. Garth barreled backwards, great defence from Harry Thacker. Some player is Thacker. There goes Falatau, Joe Joyce making another tackle. That's a great carry. Really good carry from Fear. Now Bath might look to move it, couple of defenders wider from Bayliss, but he's getting barrelled across, gets the ball away to Clark, that's dangerous, Bristol weren't expecting it, they're scrambling. Clark's covered. Thought they turned it over, they hadn't. Space out wide here for Bath if they can get the ball there. Good from Lewis Boyce. De Glanville from Cipriani, short ball to Orlando Bailey, easily dealt with by Bristol. counter up ineffective. Will Spencer. Hard to stop, barrels through, beats a tackle, makes the half break. Rock and Naguni gets it away to Thock and the singer, he's in the corner, no doubt this time. He gets his try. Well, that was all we were talking about, just that patience, hold the ball, hold the ball, the space will come at some point. It was a great offload at the end from Rocco. I was a bit worried at the time whether it was forward or not. I don't think it was. Piers O'Connor really didn't need to bite him then, did he? Needed to stay out on Thok and a singer. It was a two-on-two, two. but Rocco Nanguni's such a threat, Rory. It makes defenders panic. Exactly. As soon as he's got the ball, suddenly the defenders are having to think twice where they go, where they bite. It just gives them so much more time on the ball. I'm not jealous at all that Joe's had three run-ins in two games. <laughs> You're not resentful. You're not resentful. We've got a voodoo doll. Not quite from Cipriani. Very difficult kick. We are at 24 all. Would you have predicted that? Rory after about a quarter of an hour when it was 21 nil to Bristol. Uh, no, you wouldn't. My, no, my brain would not have. My heart would have, um, but no. What a fantastic game. The red card has not ruined this game. It's made it... It's always a shame to see them, but it's made it very interesting for the neutral. That was well taken by Falatau, that. It was awkward, not sure he knew it was his for a little while. Fia bangs it in. Simpson, Boyce. Good exit here is so important for Bath at this point in the game. Don't okay, rush it, Bath, get your rolls right and get was, the kick chase. Nine, I always sort of wonder, why play that nine. extra phase through Boyce? Why not box tick it off the last ruck? Is there a reason? Yeah, I think there is. I think kicking off the middle of the pitch is much tougher. You've got much bigger area for the forwards to have to get into to chase that ball. Um, yeah, we always say try and get near a touchline to get that kick chase sorted, so there's less room for error. Good to know, thank you. I'll steal that knowledge. Randrandra, very threatening, he's away! He's got strength to his right. He looks unsteady on his feet, but he's making ground. Could see it just about covers him. Fantastic from Randrandra. Don't forget they're a man down. Great work in the outside channel from the Fijian and Bristol. Are about three metres out. 24 Goals. all. Six Goals. minutes to play. Goals. Penalty advantage, Bristol. Ben Spencer on the touchline in his tracksuit, shaking his head. Advantage Bristol. Still Bristol's advantage. Brian Byrne covered, not backwards indeed. Vui, Evergreen, keeps going. Onside, please. Onside. Look at the blue boot. Thacker sort of Burrows takes a metre. Still Bristol advantage. 20 stack. Right, six. Point 20 six. Step. Good comms. Still advantage, Bristol. Louis making his mind up. No rush. Makes a metre underneath Talupe Falatau. Bristol charging on, they ain't far out now. Good carry from Antoine Fries to centre. <laughs> Looks like a decent turnover attempt, that, from Bath. So decent from Josh Bayliss. 
but they've gone back for the penalty advantage to Bristol. Back we can. Thank you. Good ball from Frisch across the front. Randrandra, Clark just couldn't get to Rock and Nagoonie's inside shoulder quick enough. That stumble from Strang may have helped him actually, sort of put the defender off a bit. That's correct. Yeah, definitely. It's one of those things, you know, you give Semi Randrandra half a, half a gap, he takes it. Uh, I think probably Rocco's gone a bit early there. He's given him his inside too, too easily for him. Okay, let's um, go. Come on. No, come on. I think come on. there we try and push him to let's an go, edge and then, then get set in the defensive line again. When they step back inside, it's always harder to regather your defence. So is that Rock and Nagoonie not quite knowing where Max Clark was on his inside? not perhaps looking, Max Clark's comms, or a mixture of the both? Probably a mixture of the both and probably something to do with the backfield as well. If he doesn't know someone's closing behind him, then he might, then he might be overly worried about the edge. It, it can be a number of things. It could, it could be he got the comms that Max Clark was inside him and Clark, he's just not got there. Didn't let the handbrake off. 24-27, Bristol, Sheedy, five from five. Bristol down to 14. Have been for a good old while. Very good clearance, very good exit from Bristol. That was clean, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's been a massive difference in this game, the way Bristol have exited compared to where Bath have. It just releases that pressure valve so much when you know your nine or your ten can put it up the pitch and it goes out on the halfway line. line. Please. Well, the first few attempted exits line, please, from Bath in the first half cost them dear, didn't they? They just weren't clean Come enough. On. It's your own time, lads. Perhaps a bit overcomplicated, perhaps the a bit of execution. Yours. Yes, a bit of wind, but that's how you do it. Back on the halfway line, halfway line Bath throw. Ball won cleanly by Bayliss, Simpson feeds Bailey, Cipriani, out the back to Thok and a singer, danger, Randrandra's got him, great shot. Up for the counter up, Bath hanging on by the skin of their teeth at that breakdown, but they've done a good job. Max Clark did a very good job, Lewis Boyce, aggressive carry, and a good one. Simpson goes blind to Rocky Nguni, thinks about the footwork, Thacker deals with him. Dutoy, Balatau. Cipriani wants it. Out the back to Orlando Bailey. Didn't want to give it to Fia. Very good work from Orlando Bailey up the middle. Shaky Bristol defence. Bailey hard to get hold of. Cipriani out the back to Glanville. Bath getting quick ball, looking dangerous. Simpson wants it quicker, mind. Fia, short pop to Spencer, clattered by Luatua, what a shot. Boyce again, so much work since he came on, even gets the ball away to Thok and a singer. Keep hold of that boot, Joe Joyce, because he will go. Hard man to put down, Big Joe. Fia again, Cipriani, could see her. He's carried well since he's come on. Really well, agreed. Good toy. Not the best pass he's thrown this season. Bath fans calling for a high tackle. Bloke's almost on his knees carrying in. I don't think that's quite a fair call. Luke Pierce agrees. It's a quick ball for Bath. Bristol hanging out aerobically, doing so much work. Fantastic carry from Ewan Richards up the middle. Offloads it to Steve Luatua, though, who plays for the other team. The Bath forwards on this near side hanging themselves. Yes. OK, use it! Done so much work, they've turned the ball over and lost ground. Thacker hasn't looked tired in 10 years. Just a bit over eager there. Is that Johan Lloyd? Yep. Doesn't need to. I don't think Danny Cipriani wants to go anywhere near that breakdown. I don't think he needs to take him 10 metres past it. He just saw Danny Cipriani, big name, and thought he'd knock him over, I think. He'd run all that way. Goes back to those connections and attack for Bath. They're doing the work, they're making the ground, and it's just that one pass that's letting them down at the moment. I got numbers all day. No, it wasn't Harry Thacker, was it? Harry Thacker carried. A good carry from Thacker into Cipriani, made a few metres. Unnecessary penalty that for Bristol, but Bath will take it with both hands. What are they going to do with it? Ball is won cleanly through Bayliss again, he's a banker. Orlando Bailey could see a good carry, just about defended. Quick ball, Simpson, Cipriani, Clark. Clark goes outside, Rando to get it away to Glanville, very nicely done. Rock and Nguni, proper handful, all day. Johan Lloyd does just enough. Here comes Spencer, all 135 kilos of him. Harry Thacker's hurt himself, 
Trying to slow the big man down. Cipriani out the back to Bailey. Great ball. You and Richards again with the footwork. He's beaten one. He's beaten two. He's popped off three. And he's trying to get the ball away. And it hasn't quite come off. I'm not we sure if it's a knock off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. taken off the ball. May have come off a Bristol player. <laughs> Let's have a look. Just wait, just wait. I want to just check a thing here. I just want to look at something. Uh, can you just give me a chance to do my job, please? Hang on. What a carry. He'd already beaten three defenders by then. No, no, the young no, second row. Minute, Wants to get this ball That's away to Josh Bayliss. Stewie. This could... Yes, Luke. So, um, I just want to check if there is a take out off the ball um, before that turnover. Um, obviously, time is up. You just make sure that he's not taken off the ball before the pass, isn't it? So keep your eye on Josh Bayliss, I guess. Yep, he is. Well, there's an arm around him and someone's on his back. Is that strong? I'm going to run you a couple of angles now. Yeah, I think okay, it is. Mate. I think if you watch Theo Strang on the left of your screen, watch Josh so Bayless. It's hard to Bristol argue. The player we're looking at, at the actions of the head. Yeah, Luke, just run Bristol. now. Run now. Hard yeah, to so argue. Here we go. So he tries to pass the ball for number five. Against Twenty-one that, isn't it? clearly makes contact and knocks him to ground. So, I'm quite content on those um, facts, Stu. Can we get the in-goal camera yeah, to mate. make sure that yeah. the ball is not played by that player? Because if it's played by him, he can obviously make contact. So, we just, I'm just going to get you the in-goal one now. Yeah, if it's not played by him, he cannot do that. So, let's get these facts established first. Right, Luke, I'm going to run this for you now. Yeah, so at the moment, he does not have the ball. It's pretty clear. He tries to pass the ball. Number 21 is on him early. That is foul play, he cannot do that. We're in agreement. Fine, so, we've got foul play, Stewie. Now the question to me is, I'm looking at yellow card, but is it also a penalty? I don't need you here, thanks. The question now is, would a probable try have been scored, but for that action? So, Luke, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to back, back roll this camera now, right, yeah. so you can see to the pass, and then we can a, a judge on the cover on probability, all right? Thanks, mate. This so is high drama. Foul play, so we've got that. Uh, rubber stamp. We now move on to the next bit. Strang collides with, takes out Josh Bayliss before Bayliss so gets the ball. We're going to have a look ball. for cover here, mate. Had he Is not there done it, outside of him, mate? would Bayliss have on scored? The touchline side, Morby, your side. No, so at the moment, mate, I'm looking like a penalty try. There's but no is cover there. Is there anybody there. in goal on that side? We just need more angles, please. Obviously, it's pretty important here. I've got go. this side angle now, which helps yeah, us a little so bit this more. Might help us. On the rear in behind angle, there was no cover. Sh Sheedy is there. So we're looking at number 19. Is he coming around? Sheedy's gone is from the equation as cover now. No one Mate, on the far side. Those actions, number 5 and 19 are still behind the ball carrier. Are you in the Who'd be a referee? Thank <laughs> God, Pierce he is. Yeah. It's going to be a penalty on, try. On the balance this. Of this be. Yeah. Yes. It's a det I don't. I determined that those players could have got to cover. Yeah. OK, so, so we're not looking at penalty try, but it is a yellow card. And it is a penalty. And it is a penalty. Yeah. OK, Massive we all can check call. that. And then just the number, 21, I believe, isn't it? Roy, what are you saying about um, that? I've got to explain well, this we'll, to we'll, you. Well, listen to this bit. Yeah. Bath, obviously it's close to a penalty try, but we can't be certain. We, for, for the law, we have to be sure that a probable try would have been scored. It is foul play and it is a yellow card, but it will be a penalty against number 21 and a yellow. That is super tight, super tight. Super tight. You know, obviously, I could, I could stand here as a Bath player and say, no, 100% penalty okay. try every day. You could see yeah, those in other games being given. Everyone take it steady. We know that, you know, what's, what, what's weighing on, on the, the rest of the race. match here. On I the do think line. the no, fact that he's still, you know, five, four metres out, could Theo Strang Wait. make that tackle potentially? So that's the only thing that's stopping me from getting frustrated and saying that should be a penalty try. Yours? I thought penalty try, actually. I didn't think the cover would have got there, but you cannot be certain. That's Luke Pearce's point. Jeepers, that's tight. Right, Bartha on the march. They have Go to on. score, or it's game over. Josh Bayliss will pick and go, he'll barrel in. Free ball, the space out wide again. Away! Bath advantage, they can do what they want. Bristol may as well kill the ball at this point. But they can't, and Bath march on, they pile on. Could see it will go. The ball's got to go. There is so much space out wide, so much space. The Glanville's going to walk He's it. He's got it, the win! Both are going to win! They've done it! An incredible finish to a game that should never have been this close. Bristol's...
steamed ahead in the first half, lost a man, Bath has come back and won it in the 85th minute. Wow. I think potentially for some people that's justice compared to what happened just moments before with the non-penalty try shout, but... You know, we look at 20 minutes into the game, you could never see this result coming. Bristol were dominant. Bath have clawed their way back in the game, albeit with the help of the red card and the yellow cards along the way. But, you know, it shows a lot of guts, it shows a lot of heart to keep staying in it and a lot of incredible decision-making under pressure and just general skill set. Um, yeah, Biasi couldn't be happier for the lads. Celebration nice from the Glanville too. What a finish. This game after a quarter of an hour or so, was one-way traffic. Cipriani misses a conversion. It doesn't matter. Who Bath cares? scored five tries against 14-man Bristol. Incredible result. 29-27 to Bath. Rory, this feels like, yes, it's against 14 men, but you still got to go and win it. This feels significant. 100%. Um, you know, you, you talk to any team, however many players you're playing against, you'll always take the win every day of the week, especially if it's a Bath-Bristol game. I've only been involved in one win against Bristol in my time here at the club, so it has been rare in the last few years, and that's all credit to them. They've been on form. They were flying last year. Earlier this year, we felt hard done by at the end of the game, and this year they probably feel hard done by with the cards against them. But no, it's been, it's been a great game for the neutrals, not just us as Bath players, but Bristol can hold their heads up high with how they played with 14, 13 men throughout the game. But at the end of the day, Bath have got the win and that's what the, uh, the match stats will say.